guys, Jennifer here. It is a gorgeous day and it is the day before Easter Sunday. So I wanted to show you that I was uh, creating these envelopes, kind of decorating them and I really had fun with it and I thought you, you might want to see what I did. Um, oh, I've got the windows open today. Yesterday was a really rainy, rainy day, so it's kind of blah. Today it's gorgeous. It's a little cloudy, but it's so windy and it's beautiful. And um, it just makes me so inspired to be up here in my craft room. So I wanted to create. I'm just like dying over here. <laughs> anyway, um, I wanted to show you these envelopes I made. They are envelopes like this, plain. I tea dyed them. They have this square back. This pattern is from a placemat and it's a lace placemat, it's a vinyl one. And I use that a lot when I'm tea dyeing. I thought it looked really cool. It gives it a little bit of a texture to it. Anyway, I wanted to add more texture. So that's before I did anything. And this is kind of after I did something. I just fell in love with it. So I picked up this embossing folder at Tuesday morning while I was on vacation in at Myrtle Beach. So I, I had seen these 3D embossing folders by Crafters of Companion. Um, they're really pretty. And I thought I would like to try one. So I thought this one would give really nice texture it is super deep, you can see. So it gives a really nice texture on the envelopes. So I did a little cluster here. I did some tea dye doily here. And here's like where the stamp goes. I did a little bit of this stamp, but I, I didn't do it too dark enough. So you really can't see it. I might go back and redo it or maybe do it darker next time. And then on the back, I did uh, one of my little button embellishments, the ones I found on Pinterest. And then I just added some lace here and some, some uh, sorry, silk there. And I thought it looked so cute, but I thought, oh my goodness, it's kind of missing something. So I downloaded these really awesome address labels from Tracy Fox. She's Love Junk Journals on uh, Etsy. And I decided I was gonna use one of these. I think I down, I think I copied it several times. <laughs> there's only two, there's two pages and the address labels. So anyway, this was one of them I thought looked really good. And then this one, and I thought it finished it off nice. This is a lot of contrast, but it looks kind of cool. And then this is the one. So I thought those four looked really nice with the envelope colors. Since I'm kind of doing that neutral vintage theme, Thought that looked really good so anyway this is uh two others that i did the main thing is when you're gonna use the embossing folder if you're gonna get deep enough it is going to weaken the strength of the envelope so i did use some tea dyed paper and i uh you know line the inside so i'll show you how i did that and so we'll go ahead and make one of these. I thought that that would be fun to do. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, what I did was I just put the whole thing in there as far as I could. So you're not going to get the entire envelope. You can see there's a little bit of an edge here. So that's kind of why I added the doily because it and this you can't really tell that you know, you didn't mean to do it that way. So this will have a longer side than the other side. But I really like the finish and I thought it was really pretty. So we'll go, I'm gonna go ahead and run that through my die cutting machine and I'll be right back. So here you go guys, it came out of the machine like this and you can see here. So here is like an example of where it kind of cut through a little bit there. So you can make it less intense, you know, by 
using less layers in your sandwich, or you can just know that that's going to happen and it'll be really delicate until you add your reinforcement lining on the inside. Okay, so I'll show you how I did that. There was really no rhyme or reason to it. I just used some dyed paper that I had and I kind of made a template. I did make a template for the other three, but um, that's okay. So all I did was leave a little bit of space, maybe like an eighth of an inch around the edge. And then, uh, then I'll just go ahead and kind of trace around the envelope a little bit here. And I'll go ahead and cut that. Okay. So let's see what this looks like here. Oh, the wind is just gorgeous. I get a little too wide. So I will go ahead and cut this down here. Just a little bit. try to line it up at the top there. And you can see where you need to trim off a little bit. There we go. All right, so I'm going to use a wet glue. And for this, I was actually using the Fabri-Tac just because it doesn't show through. It's not a wet you know, it's wet, but it's not uh, water-based, so. You can use whatever you prefer. Just what I'm preferring right now for this. Then I'm gonna slide it back in there. A little tricky. But that's okay. It'll go in. I usually try to do it this way so it's not sticking to the back of the envelope. Right there. I think I had a little bit more of a struggle this time than I did last time. And what I did was I only glued like this part of it. And then I went back in and I had this open. That way I'm only having to manipulate the um, bottom portion and then glue the top and then glue the top in. That was a little bit easier than what I was trying to do. So just um, FYI for that part. Then I took the other part of the paper that I had left and I used it you don't really have to go all the way to the bottom. I used it like this and then um, I just cut it about here. So left about an eighth of an inch on both sides again. 
Pardon my gluey finger mess now. Okay. And then this one I glued to this part here. And I tried to match it to the top, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. In fact, I'm just gonna leave it there. Let's see here. Okay. tricky but very worth it okay if you have a little bit extra we can always fix that up i gotta go wash my hands guys this net this uh glue is gonna drive me nuts be right back okay so my fingernails are or my fingers are a little bit cleaner not quite 100 percent, but that's okay we're going to keep going all right so now for the rest, of, so this little bit right here, I'm going to use to cover the sides. So all I did was, you know, trace this, okay, now you might not obviously have this envelope. Uh, but at least if you do have something like that, you can see what I did. Okay. All right. this out right here. I'm just cutting under the line so that you don't see it accidentally. And then I'm going to glue that in. In fact, you don't need to glue that length, just, just a little bit. You just want to reinforce that a little bit. Okay. Oops, I did it on the wrong side. So let's switch this <laughs> to this side. Put the glue on the wrong side, guys. That's okay. At least they're the same. Okay. So now, let's see. This one's going on this side, which means I need the glue on that side. <laughs> so used to gluing on the back. All right. So now I can stick this right in there. Oh, it's a little wide. Let me cut that off. Okay. I'm going to have to cut that off. perfect but just enough to enforce that so they don't tear as you're using the envelope all right so that's where we're at we're gonna crease that there where this is and now you don't have to feel like it's gonna fall apart on you okay if there's little bits here that you feel like need a little bit more reinforcing you can add you know some different glues i just happen to have some of this glue stick right here so i'm going to be covering that with lace anyway so it's okay all right so now i'm gonna ink it up i probably don't want to watch that so i will do that real quick. so i also took um 
just very lightly over the top. Not all over, but just enough to add some more dimension to the 3D. I think it looks so cool. And this one is kind of like debossed, but still looks cool because you still have some of the other texture coming through. Like the, it looks like a linen type texture. It's really neat looking. Okay, so now we have that. All right, so next we'll do this little area right here. Let's see, I just used a piece of muslin strip that I had. Let's see if I can find it. <laughs> here it is. And I tea dyed that. So just a little piece of muslin strip that I tore and then I'm gonna make it into kind of like a square, I guess. And then I have this um, old Stampin' Up punch. It's a stamp. So it's a square stamp. Now, if you don't have a punch or a die that's that shape, you know, you have the scissors. You can use your scissors to do the edge um, pinking or whatever scallop you have. And that will look just fine also. So I had some paper that I printed out. I want to say this is from Antique Papery. And I just used I just used the ledger part last time. Let's see. Just something like that. There, let me get up. Okay, if you don't have a punch or anything like that, I picked up these stamps at Tuesday morning. These are the Bow Bunny Postile stamp. And you could, you know, cut one of these out. Plus, you cut one of the stamp and cut it out real quick. This is just super simple, obviously. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue the muslin on. And I kind of did it at an angle, just to layer it up. <clears throat> And then I added the stamp. And then I have a piece of this really cute trim that came in the Ula La Vintage Treasures kit. I think it was the Audrey Love Coco, I believe. I just cut a little piece of it like that. It has a little flower on it. So use whatever trim that you have on hand and it doesn't have to be exactly like this. I'm just kind of giving you a little bit of what you can do with it. Okay, and then I wanted to do some stamping. I stamped off last time, but I don't think I need to because it was looked totally fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp there. And then on the other side, I have a uh, little canceled thing, and I'm just going to do part on the stamp like that. See? Okay. Now I just need a button. I just use a button and some string like I like to do. Sorry if you can hear that dog. There is a dog across the pond because uh, we have a pond in the back and uh, oh my goodness, 
Doesn't even sound like a bark. It sounds like the dog is just yelping constantly. And it and they're far away, but like it just echoes like they're in right next to us. It's crazy. All the dogs like to talk to each other across the pond. <laughs> and I I know my dog is a yap or two, but uh we don't leave her out long enough to where she is annoying like that to other people. Because I just think that's really disrespectful. I mean, especially on a gorgeous day like this when you know people are going to have their windows open. You know, who wants to listen to that all day? And sometimes, like, in the summer, they'll leave the dog out. And I'm, I work from home. And, uh, oh my goodness. I could be in a meeting and that thing is just going off in the background and it's just, ah, uh, very, very frustrating. Okay, there we go. Super simple, but it looks cute. And then what we'll do is we'll do this little collage here on the front. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what I did. I just used a piece of this stained up piece uh it's a table runner see this is the kind of stuff that i like to pick up at estate sales and be able to use and not feel guilty <laughs> okay i am cutting a piece of this to use and then let's see i had a piece of cheesecloth Cut a little square of that. All right, that's tea dyed also. And let's see, I used a piece of sorry silk ribbon. Love this stuff. Can't get enough of this stuff amazing all right so a piece of that and what else did I use oh yes this little tiny bit of tatting and a piece of this trim these were both in the Ula La Vintage Treasures Audrey well I believe this is Audrey, or this could have been the uh, Attic Dreams. Sorry guys, I kind of have been using both of those. All right, so we got all that, and now we can just add that real quick. Okay. Got a little bit of blue, a little bit of cheesecloth, Oh, I forgot to make it look tatted. You know. Hold them torn apart. That's what we like. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, you know what else I used? I have this stuff in my bag and I'm like, I never use this. I used to use this all the time. We gotta like, there's so much to remember to use like on your projects and stuff. But, you know, sometimes we forget. Throw that in there for a little bit of layer. Throw this in there. I like this hanging off of there at the bottom. If you can see that. Yep. And then a little bit of this. And a little bit of that. Whoa. Just trying to add that. Okay. And I literally just, you know, scrunch it up. You know how we do. Scrunch. And then this is such a precious little bit. 
Everybody worked so hard on this. So glad I get to use a little bit in my project because it looks so neat looking. All right, and then I will add this little sparkly bit of this trim that was tea dyed. Looks so cute. All right. So there's that. You can add more glue if something's not um, all the way on there. That looks really adorable right now. And then on the back, I did add a little bit of lace trim and folded it over to kind of make sure the edge was nice. So let's do that. I used another one of the laces in the Audrey Loves Coco kit. I'm going to use the art glitter because it dries like a mat, so kind of nice. Sticky, sticky. My fingers are sticky. Just gonna dry it here. Clip off the rest of that. silk. What do I do with it? Oh, here it is. Okay. This one I am going to use the Fabri-Tac for. Just fold it and twist it and do all that kind of stuff and just stick it down. You can go back and fix any areas that you need to. My fingers are so sticky, you guys. Oh my goodness. Everything is sticking to them. All right, so just a little bit on this side. All right. Just a little dab. Okay, next up we're going to do one of these little buttons. I use this one. It's the one and a quarter inch scallop circle punch. 
Again, if you don't have this particular shape, there's you can use whatever shape you have. It could be a heart, a circle square, um, you know, anything really. And all I did was I cut a piece out of what I had left over for scraps. Let's see if this is enough. Oh, not quite. No, I'm going to have to use a different scrap. I will use this since I already had used this. Paper. There we go. And then I just, well, I think I just glued it and then inked it. Yeah. Let's go ahead and glue that down. Okay. piece of an applique or a trim anything you have laying around that you could just stick on there you could even use some of that trim again just cut a piece of that I have this little trim that we can use just really white so let me just ink it up a little bit That looks really cute. All right. And let's see, you need a button or whatever you have. If you have like a flat back pearl, you could use that. I just happen to have these on my desk and super easy to grab. And my string here. So um, tonight is Easter service. Well, we have several services at our church, but uh, you know, it gets super busy on Easter Sunday. So we decided to change it up this week and me and my sister and her family are going to go together to the five o'clock since we have, uh, she's got two little ones, way younger than mine. Um, and then we're going to go all out to eat because our mom and dad are like out of the country. So... Well, me and my sisters, we don't love to cook. <laughs> uh, you know that story if you watched the last video. <laughs> so, oh, I didn't tell you guys that um, the organizer came in and worked on my kitchen. And oh my God, you should have seen the expression on my husband's face. Like he, I have never, he was elated. I have never seen him that shocked over something I did <laughs> well thank god to her because I couldn't have done it alone I've been trying to do it forever I recorded his um his reaction it was that good ah this is not sticking very well 
Yeah, it was really good, you guys. And uh, anyway, I think I talked about that on my, I had surprised an organizer to come in. I talked about it on my tag video and yeah, it was a good thing. So she's supposed to come back and work with me on um, my craft room next. I figured, you know, if I could surprise hubby and he saw what a great job she did, he'd be totally fine with her coming back and doing anything I wanted. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're going to work on my craft room next and maybe like my office where my, I've got like photos and stuff and, you know. That would be cool to have that organized. The kids' old papers and things that I like to keep, which I have already in a bin. It's just, I don't know. Just having somebody to help you do it, just... And we finished my kitchen in like two hours, so it was really amazing. All right, guys, I'm not going to tuck that under because it's still drying. But look how adorable that is. Oh, we need the label. Which one? Whoops, that's upside down. That one looks so good. I don't know. I really like this gray one for some reason. I think I'm going to do that. Yay for Tracy Fox labels. These are really nice looking too. I like this uh, shape. Very interesting. I think that's going to finish it up nicely. Yes, it is. Oh my, that was my, that was a vase with some flowers in it. Not a real one, thank goodness, because that would have been a mess. It's a real vase, but not real flowers, I mean. <laughs> okay. All right. Look how really cute that looks. Oh, my gosh. I love, I love how much texture this has. How nice it looks with that label. How cool. That could go in a junk journal, too. Wouldn't that be nice? You can add two of them connect them here if you wanted to or you could add an, a page to this um, a lot of people will open up their envelopes sew that into the signature and then close them that would be neat too if you thought about that from the beginning um, then it might be easier to put the lining in too okay so the last thing I want to do is add a little doily and I don't have any more of these which I really like that one but that's okay. I will use this one. This one, I think I coffee dyed. It's a little grungier, but I like it. So I'll go ahead and maybe I will use a glue stick for that. Ah, these are very delicate. So I sometimes will use some matte medium on them. Uh, oops, good. I'll sometimes use some matte medium to give them some strength. I think a lot of people do that or maybe use Mod Podge or something. But I like the matte medium just because I like the finish. Let's see, where are my scissors? I put them away. Be really careful not to cut your envelope. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. All right. So let's see here. Okay. So there we go. It looks so nice. I'm digging these. I've got several of them that I need to finish up, add the label, and I'll have 
have some envelopes ready. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys, and have a wonderful Easter. Bye-bye for now.